Hey, what's going on? It's Justin Dickmeyer from engineeringtrainingexam.com. And in this video, we will focus on compound interest and the use of single payment formulas. In this video, we will run through a problem for compound interest and the use of single payment formulas. The topic of compound interest and single payment formulas falls under the main category of engineering economics. Equations, symbols, tables, and information on the various topics covered in engineering economics can be referenced on pages 114 through 120 of the NCEES Supplied Reference Handbook, 8th edition, 2nd revision. The problem states, a certain machine costs $25,000 to purchase today. The company takes a five-year loan that has an option to, to defer any payment until the end of the fifth year and make one balloon payment. With an interest rate of 6%, what will the machine actually cost the company after five years? Use the compound interest tables. So here's the solution. The question is asking what the future balloon payment would be if the company were to take a five-year $25,000 loan today with a 6% annual interest rate. Like any of these single payment problems, we can determine this in one of two ways. Either by using the single payment compound amount formula found in the table on page 114 of the NCEES Supplied Reference Handbook, or using the functional notation version of the equation and referencing and using the compound interest tables starting on page 116 of the NCEES Supplied Reference Handbook. This problem calls for the use of the compound interest tables. The single payment compound formula written in functional notation for future worth is F is equal to P times F over P I N, where the term F over P I N can be defined using the given values for interest and the period, and the compound interest table starting on page 116 of the NCEES Supplied Reference Handbook. In this problem, we are given an interest rate of 6%, or 0.06 and a period in of five years. Referencing the compound interest table for 6% on page 118 of the NCEES Supplied Reference Handbook, we locate the period n equal 5, which is the far left column, and work our way horizontally to the factor f over p and find that f over p, 6%, 5, is equal to 1.3382. So plugging this value into the equation, we get a future value F is equal to 25,000 times 1.3382, which equals $33,455. So the equivalent future value balloon payment for the $25,000 loan at a 6% annual interest is $33,455. There are a few ways that individuals can trip up on a problem like this. Referencing the correct variables in the table is one way. For instance, in this problem, we needed to reference f over p, but it would be very simple to reference P over F, which would be the wrong term and would give us a wrong answer. We were also asked to use compound interest tables in this problem. However, we could have used the regular general formula for the single payment compound amount. This formula calls for the use of the interest rate. Sometimes when we're in a hurry, we may not convert that interest rate into a decimal which is needed when plugging them in to the general single payment compound amount formula. 
Lastly, it is also very important that you are referencing the correct table and components for interest and period. For example, in this problem, we were referencing the interest table for 6%. But once again, there's many tables to choose from, and it's very easy to reference some other tables, say 8% or 10%. These variables in these tables would obviously give us a wrong variable and ultimately lead to a wrong answer. Well, that's it for this video. Do you know anybody that would benefit from this lesson? If so, let's try to reach out and help others by sharing this video with them. Also, take a second to like this video and leave a comment and tell me how it will help you move forward in your goal of becoming a professional engineer. And finally, type in engineerintrainingexam.com into your URL bar and visit the site to download for free the example problem and solution we worked. While you are there, you can also sign up for the free EIT Academy Boot Camp, 137 pages and over 50 practice problems and solutions to get you on track to passing this exam.